an ABC News exclusive with the mother of one of the Columbine killers. 17 years ago, Sue Klebold's son, Dylan, and his friend, Eric Harris, murdered 13 people. Now she is speaking out, sharing her story in her new book, A Mother's Reckoning, and also sharing her story with our Diane, who sat down with her for her first ever TV interview that is airing tonight in a 2020 special. Oh, 17 years ago. 17 years. For some, it seems like just yesterday. Right, but we have got to try to learn something. Mm -hmm. Got to try to learn something both for our own lives and our own children, but also to protect against the next school shooting. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to see how it's still very raw for her to to step forward and That's to speak right. out. Thinking all the time of the families as mm -hmm. we did. We reached out to the families beforehand. We're going to be reaching out to them again afterwards. Uh, but she says not a day goes by that she doesn't think of what happened and that they're what they're living with every day. I just remember sitting there and reading about them. All these kids and the teacher. And I keep thinking, constantly thought, how I would feel if it were the other way around and one of their children had shot mine. I would feel exactly the way they did. I know I would. I know I would. So she says she went back over her life with a magnifying glass to look for everything she missed, the questions she didn't ask, the things she made assumptions about that she should not have made assumptions about, but it was 17 years ago before Columbine. And she was just trying to, to come up with lessons, clues for everybody sitting at home. Does she feel that she, does, that she missed some of those Big signs ones. with her son? Big ones and a progression of things. She goes back along the path and some of them will relate, I think, to all families. I think we'll be asking ourselves, is adolescent behavior just adolescent behavior or is it something else? And you know, the other thing that happens with her, and you'll see it a bit here, she's trapped in this contradiction between the little boy and all she believed he could be and the murderer he became. And she's still a mother thinking about that little boy and what might have been different. There is never a day that goes by where I don't think of the people that Dylan harmed. And I you use the word harmed. harmed. I think it's easier for me to say harmed than killed. And, and it's still hard for me after all this is time. Is that about a certain need to deny what happened or? I don't know, perhaps, perhaps. Um, it is very hard to live with the fact that someone you loved and raised has brutally killed people in such a horrific way. I think we like to believe that our love and our understanding is protective, and that if anything were wrong with my kids, I would know, but I didn't know. And. Uh, it's very hard to live with that. She says she now knows her mistake, not considering that an adolescent phase can, in fact, signal something else. So I felt that I was a good mom, that he, would, he could talk to me about anything. Part of the shock of this was, was that learning that what I believed and how I lived and how I parented was um, an invention in my own mind, that it, it was a completely different world that he was living in. It seems like she blames herself in part. That's right. And we have experts on the show. We have a lot of people coming on the show because we calculated there are about 77 or 79 thwarted shootings, thwarted plots since Columbine, thwarted. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to know everything we could about who thwarted them, how did they thwart them. And so that's part of what you're going to see tonight, how we all together can perhaps prevent this. I know you so well, and one of the main reasons why you wanted to sit down with her and have her share her story from her book is because of the lessons learned. It's not just going over what happened, but those, the signs. And so parents that are watching tonight can perhaps Yes, yeah, so you know that I've spent a lot of time I know on you children did. and violence, gun safety, all of these issues. But if there is something we can learn to prevent, we have got to try to learn it. You're right. Always a pleasure to see you here, Diane. Good to see you. Okay.
and make sure to tune in to Silence Broken, A Mother's Reckoning, a Diane Sawyer special edition of 2020 tonight at 10, 9 central here on ABC.